What I find interesting about the process for many of us, this realization I feel happens in the physical world and biologically speaking, collecting possessions led to safety and security. Resources were scarce. So we're wired to hold on to things. And then we'll watch a show like Hoarders and go, you know what? I need to do that spring cleaning or I should empty my closet. <laughs> <laughs> but we also now live in a digital world and we look at, well, we go to get the next iPhone. Well, I got to get double the memory. Not because I'm going back through and deleting all the blurry photos and the videos that don't matter, but I'm carrying this digital load with me. And then in the X Factor Accelerator with our members, there's also a lot of these relationship ties that we hold on to because we're like, well, I know this person isn't great for me now, doesn't have the same values. They were a great friend in college, but they care about different things. But I can't subtract this person from my life. I, I have to keep this relationship. And, and you ask, well, was that a fulfilling experience, spending time with that person? Is it fulfilling to be sinking this much energy into a relationship that you don't feel good about? And that time could be better spent finding a new relationship, finding a better partner, finding a, a better social circle for you and, and who you are currently. But it's interesting that we look at our closet first. We look in the freezer first. We don't look at our time and we don't look at the digital world and how it's impacting us and weighing us down as well. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit about the, you know, the same visibility that hinders subtraction, right? You, you don't see it, so you don't think of it. And it's the, the same with the activities. Um, I also like what you said about the, the vision slash values, right? Because people will often ask me, well, should I subtract this thing? And, you know, most of the time I don't have a strong opinion on whether they should subtract X, you know, uh, do you like it? Does it align with what's fulfilling you? Does, is it pushing you in the direction that you want to go? Um, and it, you know, that the vision and the values, those are the, the filters that tell you what, what's good to subtract and what's good to add for you. I've also heard it put uh, kind of similar to what you said, Johnny, where when you choose to add something to your calendar, you're basically saying no to every other single thing during that time, which is, you know, framing it that way, then you're like, oh man, I better, I better really be careful with what I, with what I add. And I found that it's in the moment, it feels good, right? It's like, well, I, I took some, some free time. I, I made myself busy. I'm, I'm accomplishing something, right? The competence piece, I'm adding something to my calendar and busy feels good. It feels like we're, we're moving forward. Unfortunately, on the hedonic treadmill, a lot of this busy time is, is not really moving us forward towards the core values. And asking yourself, how will I feel about this when that day actually arrives, right? So like, I feel good now saying yes to this person. Maybe I don't want to get in conflict. I don't want to say no to lunch. But next Tuesday, when I still have this project looming and I haven't finished cleaning out the closet for my wife, am I really going to feel good driving, parking, sitting down for lunch, not having an agenda, then getting back in the car and dealing with LA traffic? So just that simple ask, how will I feel in the, in the moment that I'm actually committing to? not the, the moment in time where I'm actually saying yes, where I get that hit of dopamine and I feel good, can combat some of that busyness that we feel. Mm -hmm. 